Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of 3B TV. I'm Brian. This is 3B Farm and Homestead here in beautiful upstate New York. On last week's episode of 3B TV, Brian Jr. and I shared with you the seven breeds of chicken that we are going to have on our homestead this year. And in response to that video, uh, a viewer, Dan Rye, I believe is his name, uh, asked, well, where did you get your chicks from? And Dan, great question. We're going to answer that in this episode today. Now, as Brian J. and I uh, shared with you last year in, um, in one of our episodes that I'll link to right here, there are a variety of ways that you can get chicks for a flock or chickens to start your own flock. We're not going to get into all of those in this episode, but the two ways that we have traditionally done it has been to either order from a hatchery and have them ship to us or to order through our local feed store. And so this year what I thought would be kind of fun is to do a pricing comparison between the different options that we have used over the years. Uh, I also included a few hatcheries that I've never ordered from. And let's just see what's the most cost effective way to get chicks if you are starting or in our case continuing a laying flock. Now many of these hatcheries are hatcheries that we have used before in the past and I have been happy with every hatchery that I've ordered from. Yes, I've had some losses, but the hatcheries have always made it right, either by refunding me my money or in one case when there was a severe uh, cold snap that uh, just kind of came out of nowhere and we lost a bunch of chicks, they sent a new batch of chicks, no questions asked. So I have been very, very happy with the hatcheries I've, I've ordered from. I've just tried different hatcheries out for a variety of different reasons. Some of them we'll touch on in this video. What I did is I just went through and put together an order. I started by looking at Hoover's catalog. You saw this last week. Um, Brian Jay and I went through and picked out a variety of different breeds that we were interested in. And then I just started pricing them from different hatcheries. Now, not every hatchery had every breed. So in some cases, I had to substitute what I thought was kind of a close uh breed maybe if it was a rare breed I tried to choose a rare breed if it was a common breed I try, tried to choose a common breed just to make sure I was being fair to each hatchery and it was very interesting to me what I found is there actually is quite a bit of pricing variation from hatchery to hatchery in fact from my cheapest hatchery to my most expensive hatchery for the same number of chicks it was almost eighty dollars difference um, between the two and in fact on the Cornish crosses from my cheapest to my most expensive we were looking at sixty dollars difference over 35 birds um, if you're trying to raise these chickens for profit obviously that's a huge deal now most people if they are raising Cornish crosses for profit are going to be ordering in hundreds or even thousands of birds I'm not there yet. I'm just getting started trying to establish a market and so I don't want to have too many chickens so I'm just going to 35 Cornish crosses this year but that difference between the low end to the high end it could be the difference between profit and loss. So all of that let's just jump right in here um, take a really quick look at these numbers and then I will share with you where we are ordering our chicks from this year. So let's just take a really quick look here at Hoover Hatchery since that's where we started. Uh, that was our starting point. You can see uh, at Hoover we're looking at $82.25 for our Cornish crosses and for the laying hens that we looked at, um, shipping and handling is included. It's not the case at every hatchery. Total price we were looking at $227.50. The cheapest was Valley Farms Hatchery. This is a hatchery I've used before I found it through, I think it was Grip Magazine or Hobby Farms, doesn't matter. Um, it's a hatchery out of Alabama. It was started by a teenager back in, I think, 2012. Um, I ordered my meat birds from them last year. I might have ordered some of my layers from them last year. I don't really remember. Um, by far and away, the cheapest lay price for the meat birds was Valley Farms. And overall, shipping included, $196.25 um, from Valley Farms. 
Ideal is a hatchery. I, if I've used them before, it's been a very long time. Um, a little bit more, about $20 more for the Cornish Crosses. And uh, there is a shipping and handling charge from Ideal. But total price, $204.39. Only about, uh, what's that, uh, $8 more than Valley Farms. And the big difference is that the layers are much cheaper at Ideal than through Valley Farms. Country Power is our local feed store, so we're going to come back to them and talk about them in a little bit. We've talked about Hoover. Um, Meyer is a hatchery that I don't believe I've ever ordered from, but I've heard good things about them. Um, the Meat Birds, the Cornish Cross, about $20 more than through Valley Farms. Um, overall order, $235.52. So we're talking, um, what's that, about $40 more than the order through Valley Farms. There is a $10 shipping and handling charge, a small order charge from Meyer. Cackle is a hatchery that we have ordered from before, both directly and indirectly, because Country Power does source some of their chicks from Cackle, but I have ordered directly from Cackle before in the past. Um, $82.25 for the meat birds, so about $22 more than um, Valley Farms for the meat birds. But where Cackle really gets you is they have a very stiff, small order shipping and handling charge. Um, $41.87 total. So that drives the cost from Cackle up to $262.75. We're looking at 70, almost $70 more to order from Cackle. Murray McMurray is probably the best known hatchery. Um, they have a lot of rare breeds. Um, my grandfather used to order from Murray McMurray every year. And I started ordering from, uh, when I started ordering chickens, I started out ordering from Murray McMurray. Um, but once I started going breed specific, instead of ordering the special assorted bargain that my grandfather ordered, it started feeling to me like Murray McMurray was pretty expensive. And so it was very interesting to me that when I priced it out, their broilers by far and away were the most expensive. We're looking at um, almost $40 more than from Valley Farms. Um, and overall, even though shipping was included, $266.40. So we're looking at $70 more to order from Murray McMurray. So Stromberg's is a hatchery that I've never ordered from. I don't know anybody that ever has ordered from them. But the reason why Stromberg's was interesting to me is because they're a hatchery that is closer to me than the other hatcheries. Um, Valley Farms, I believe, is located in Alabama. The other ones are located out in the Midwest. Um, but Stromberg's is located in Pennsylvania. Last year I had something happen that I wasn't very happy about, and that was that the hatchery that I ordered from shipped my order in two boxes, which was fine, but what happened is one box took two days to get to me, the other box for some reason took three days to get to me. And so my thought was if I could order from a hatchery that was a little closer, maybe the birds would be in transit for only a day, and uh, so there would be a little bit less shipping stress. Now I really wish I could go to the hatchery and pick them up, and I looked for a hatchery where I could do that. But unfortunately, the only hatcheries that I'm aware of that were in New York State have closed. Um, one was the poultry hatchery. It's since gone out of business, I believe. There was another one I found that um, was about an hour or an hour and a half for me. I was really excited about it. They did seem to focus more on meat birds, um, but I was still excited about that. Unfortunately, I got a notice from them last week that they're not hatching this year. So back to Stromberg's, I was very excited about them as an option, but you can see that Stromberg's is just way, way, way more expensive. We're talking um, almost $80 more to order the equivalent number of birds from Stromberg's. So going back to Country Power, Country Power is our local feed store. And again, I've ordered from them before and they do something every year called Chick Day. Chick Day is where they order in a bunch of different breeds. I, I don't even know how many breeds. I think this year they're going to have like seven or 800 chicks. Um, they bring in rare breeds. They bring in specialty breeds. Um, they bring in turkeys. They bring in um, ducks. It, it's just a great day. Now, I know Tractor Supply does something similar and it goes over a month. But generally, Tractor Supply only has two or three breeds to choose from. And they're usually common breeds. Not so with Country Power. 
country power, orders, bizarre breeds, it's a lot of fun. But one of the things they also do is they allow people like me that know what we want and how many we want to special order ahead of time. So I got the pricing sheet, I put together an order, and you can see here that uh, they're about uh, $25 more than um, Valley Farms for the meat birds. But overall, um, when you compare, they're a little cheaper actually for the layers in many cases um, over Valley Farms, a little more than ideal. Um, and so the pricing for them is $222.10. So where are we ordering from this year? Well, we're going to break our order up into two orders. We are going to order our meat birds from Valley Farms. I was happy with them last year and $25 is $25 when you're trying to make a profit off of your birds. Uh, every little bit helps and so we're going to go with Valley Farms for our meat chickens. So we are going to go ahead and order our layers through our feed store. We're going to order from Country Power. It's an opportunity for me to support a local business, a business that I love doing business with. They're great people at Country Power and I've had good success with it. I believe that my chicks will probably be coming from Cackle, but they may come from another hatchery and quite frankly, I don't care. Um, I know I'll get healthy birds and uh, I'm just excited to try out the seven different varieties that we talked about or the seven different breeds that we talked about last week. We're also going to get some turkeys through them. I'm on the hunt for some geese. Um, I couldn't order them through uh, Country Power because the minimum for the hatchery to ship was eight and I don't need eight geese. Um, but we're going to look for some geese. We're going to find some geese and hopefully have some guard geese this year. But uh, that's where we're ordering from. Who are you ordering from this year? Is there a hatchery that you highly recommend that I didn't even consider? Let me know in the uh, comments below. I'd love to hear from you on that. And uh, until next time, everybody, hopefully you're having a great day. Think spring. I'm getting excited about getting some seeds in the ground in the not too distant future, although it's several weeks away. Um, excited about hearing some baby peeps uh, chirping away in about a month. So it won't be long, folks, and uh, things will be warming up. I'm getting excited about it. I hope you are, too. We'll catch you later.